So today I'm talking about a P0735 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0735 code? Well, it's a gear five incorrect ratio. And so what does this mean? Well, basically located on the transmission is going to be an input speed sensor that's monitoring the input shaft as it spins. And then there's going to be an output speed sensor that's monitoring the output shaft of the transmission. And this input shaft and output shaft will be spinning at different RPMs depending on what gear the transmission's in. But when you get this P0735 code, the computer's seeing that there's some kind of issue going on with the transmission when it's in fifth gear, that the input and output speed is outside the range that it should be. And there's some kind of issue going on there when the vehicle's in fifth gear. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0735 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low fluid, really dirty fluid, or a clogged up filter that's inside the transmission. So the first thing to go and do, if possible, is go check the transmission fluid. Many vehicles nowadays, they no longer let you check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can go and check it, it's a good idea to go check it and be sure it's at the right level. Also, if that transmission fluid hasn't been changed out regularly, along with that filter that's inside of the transmission, then that can also cause problems. One thing to mention about that is that the transmission has really high miles on it. And that fluid's never been changed out. Quite often, it's not a good idea to do a complete flush of the transmission. If that transmission fluid's never changed out and that transmission's got really high mileage, then usually it's best just to change out the transmission fluid that's inside the pan, along with the filter. Otherwise, quite often, a lot of other codes come up be sure to do your own research on that. Some people would disagree with that. So be sure to do your own research. But basically, if a transmission has really high mileage on it, and that fluid and filter has never been changed out, and the transmission gets the full fluid flush, quite often, like a week later, you get a lot of other codes. But like I said, be sure to do your own research on that, since opinions will vary. But the first thing that's going to cause this is low fluid, dirty fluid, or a clogged up transmission filter. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of bad transmission sensor. And this is mainly going to have to do with the input speed sensor or the output speed sensor or possibly the wiring going to them. If one of those speed sensors goes bad, it might just be reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. Of course, usually that happens. It's not just going to happen in fifth gear. And you'll be getting like a gear three incorrect ratio, gear four incorrect ratio. Also very likely you'd be getting like a speed sensor code, like a P0720 output speed sensor circuit or something like that. And in this case, if you were getting this code, then it's a good idea to go test that output speed sensor and check the wiring going to it. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad transmission sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is that the transmission's had some kind of failure inside of it. It's got like a bad pump. It's got a bad valve body, like a solenoid's gone bad or something like that. The transmission might have had some kind of failure Again, usually if that happens, you begin a lot of other codes. And you begin like fluid pressure codes, solenoid codes, things like this. So if you are getting a lot of other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. Because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of transmission failure. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of wiring issue or possibly the computer's gone bad, like the transmission control module or powertrain control module or something like that. Basically, just keep in mind that there's any kind of open, short, a blowing fuse, anything like this, then that could cause problems. It's also possible that there's a bad computer, although that doesn't happen too often. Usually it's something else, but it does happen sometimes. If you do think you have a bad computer, be sure the battery's charged good. You can even test the alternator output and be sure that's correct. Because all these computers, they all need a good, stable power supply, or that can cause problems and throw them off, and they can just start to do weird things. But the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of wiring issue or a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0735 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.